Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Magic Wand tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, Magic Wand tool automatically select an object or area of your image. If you click on the sky, it will select the sky. Click on the person face, then it will be select entire that person face. Okay, so the Magic Wand tool known simply as a Magic Wand is one of the oldest selection tool in Photoshop. Unlike the other selection tool that select a pixel in an image based on shape or a detected object edges. So friends, you can find a Magic Wand tool in a toolbar over here. Just long press here and you can see a Magic Wand tool. By using a shortcut W, you can activate a Magic Wand tool or a selection tool. Okay. For example, by default, the object selection tool will be selected automatically. Now, if you want to change the quick selection tool or a magic wand tool, then just press shift and W from your keyboard. And as you can see, it will be swift to one selection to another selection. Okay. So like this, you can also use a shortcut key to activate your magic wand tool. So friends, first we are going to see all the property of this magic wand tool and then we are going to cover some practical example where we are going to removing background. Okay. For example, if I want to remove this background, then how you can use a magic wand tool to remove this background. Okay. As well as we are going to see a single color background. For example, this is our green screen single color background. So using a magic wand tool, how we can remove this. It is very, very simple. Okay friends, so first of all, we are going to cover all the property of magic wand tool. So friends, just click here to activate this magic wand tool. So first of all, we are going to this example. Okay, and now we are going to remove this background. So the magic wand tool in Photoshop is usually overlooked tool, but it can help you to plenty of edit. As an example, the magic wand tool can be handy for changing the color and appearance of your background. For example, if you want to change the background or if you want to remove this background. Okay, so first we selecting this magic wand tool and here you can see our first property is new selection. Okay, for starting a new selection, just click on the any color like this and you can see that selected color area will be selected automatically. Fine. Now our next property is add to selection. Okay. Now what I want, I want this selection as well as I want to add other selection. For example, this part. So just click here and as you can see our this part previous selection is also here and our new selection will be also here. But if you don't want this both selection and if you want a new selection then just click the first one and once we selected this part then our previous selection is gone. Fine. So I'm just adding two more selection like this. Now our third option is subtract from selection. Now I don't want this selection. I want to subtract means I want to minus. Then as you can see the minus sign will automatically come. Just click here and as you can see it will be subtracting that selection. Okay. And next selection is intersect with selection. Just click here and as you can see our new part is intersect with our previous part. So these four property is very common. We already seen this all property in our rectangular marquee tool, elliptical marquee tool, single row marquee tool and single column marquee tool as well as in our lasso, polygon and magnetic tool. Fine. So this property are very common. Now our next property is a sample size. Okay. So first of all, if you want to deselect this area, then you can just press Ctrl plus D from your keyboard to deselect that area. Fine. So first property is a sample size. So you can also choose how many pixel the software will examine when you click like point sample is the sample size box mean it will be take the color from only the pixel you click on. Fine. For example, if I want three by three average, then it will be select that pixel only that area pixels only fine. Now the next property is a tolerance. We can assign a tolerance level. So the tolerance increase or decrease the sensitivity in the luminance value of given color. Fine. The higher the number, the higher the range of luminance value that will be included in your selection. Okay, by default, the luminance value will be 32, but you can go to as high as 250 
you can go high till 255 for example if you choose the tolerance value uh, for example 30 fine and if I'm selecting this area so as you can see because the tolerance level is 30 it will be select the area in this particular part for example I am selecting 50 okay and now I'm just again click this area and as you can see compared to previous selection this area is increased okay now I am increase my tolerance level to 80 fine and as you can see now the tolerance will increase to a lot so change this selection to 80 and it will be double the amount of our previous selection like this fine so if you know that you only want this particular area then I'm just selecting my tolerance level to 50 and once I select this area then as you can see only this part is selected okay then you can delete it or you can do anything with this part okay friends our next property is anti allies now what is anti allies when you select an anti allies Photoshop will smooth the edges of your selection it soften the transition of color between the selection and the rest of the photo this is an option that work with other selection tool available in Photoshop as well. It makes for realistic looking selection that blend seamlessly. Fine. So this is a anti allies. Next is contiguous. Now what is this? So contiguous choose whether the selected pixels are next to another. This will allow you to limit your selection to a particular area or it choose many areas across the image with a single click. For example now my contiguous on so if i'm click here then it will be aut automatically select the pixel around this area fine i'm just deselect this area so friends this is a property of this magic wand tool okay now we are going to remove the background so first of all i'm just selecting this magic wand tool i'm applying my tolerance level to 15 just select this part okay first of all i am selecting this uh, new selection selecting this part if i want to add more area just select this part again and as you can see we can select a more area like this okay as you can see all the background will be coming inside this part okay so it is very very effective and very useful tool okay just zoom so you can see it properly so friends as you can see our background is selected you can just delete this background and replace it with anything or I'm what I'm doing I'm just applying UN saturations over here okay and just make it a black and white background fine or you can also change the color appearance anything you want see so friends like this you can use a magic wand tool to remove a background as well as you can use this magic wand tool to select a particular object in Adobe Photoshop so thank you so much guys see you in the next video